Embedded Analytics is an integral part of SAP S4HANA that enables users to perform real-time analysis on live transactional data. Its architecture consists of modeling, access and visualization components. The visualization of embedded analytics is done using analytical sub-fury apps. There are different types of analytical fury apps, for example, the multidimensional reports, also known as design studio apps, allow to perform in-depth exploratory analysis, discover trends and outliers, and investigate underlying causes. The available functions are ad hoc data filtering, pivoting by multiple dimensions, sorting and reordering of data in tabular or graphical form, as well as drilling down to original documents in the S4HANA system. Some of these apps allow manual and automated data entry and mass data changes. In addition of using report standard queries, users may create their own data queries with the app Custom Analytical Queries. SAP Smart Business KPIs provide real-time values for standard and user-defined KPIs and support faster and better decision-making. The configuration and visualization of KPIs is done via the KPI Modeler app. Overview pages are dashboards with KPIs that focus on a specific functional area. They provide an overview of the status quo of this area and give an outlook on its future development. Analytical list pages show data from different perspectives. They combine transactional and analytical views through chart and table visualization. The access of Fiori apps to the data in the backend system is enabled by OData services and analytical queries. OData is a simple open data protocol for exchanging data between servers and clients over the Internet. Analytical queries are information access requests using complex semantics. The modeling component helps to prepare data and to simplify access to data stored in the database. It uses the technology of SAP ABAP Core Data Services also referred to as CDS, to create virtual data models as a representation of operational data. A CDS view represents a projection onto one or several database tables or views. Next, we will present the positioning of embedded analytics compared to other current analytical SAP solutions. It is important to understand that embedded analytics serves operational reporting only. Operational reporting should provide an insight into the latest data that comes from the business transactions in S4HANA. It is intended to support the immediate short-term decision-making based on this data. Thanks to the in-memory HANA database, with powerful analytical capabilities, all transactional data can be analyzed directly in the SAP core system in real time without the need to use separate reporting systems, as was previously the case. Other analytical solutions, such as SAP BW, SAP BPC, or SAP BO, are better suited for tactical and strategical decision-making. In contrast to embedded analytics, these solutions can process large amount of historical, actual, and planning data and consolidate data across multiple SAP and non-SAP systems. Some of them give you real-time insights, such as the SAP Analytics Cloud, if it is directly connected to your HANA DB or S4HANA systems. Other solutions, such as SAP BW for HANA, require time for data extraction and consolidation, as well as for preparing reports in a separate system. In summary, embedded analytics can be used for real-time operational KPI reporting, advanced trend visualization, multidimensional analysis, 
and data prediction based on transactional data in S4HANA. Let us now look at embedded analytics in S4HANA version 1909 from the end user's perspective. We will show you examples of different types of standard analytical apps finance managers and controllers can use to gain insight from transactional data. We start with multidimensional reports, also known as design studio apps. Many standard reports are available for the business roles accountant and controller. Let's take journal entry analyzer as an example. With this app, you can query on journal entries by ledger, company code, GL account, fiscal year and period, posting date, transaction type and document number. In the default view, you can see account balances aggregated by financial statement items. On the left side of the screen, there are many dimensions available for slicing and dicing the values. These dimensions are journal entry characteristics stored in the universal journal ACTOCA. They include traditional FI characteristics, for example year and period, as well as COPA characteristics, for example customer, product, division, etc. Let's add, for example, the dimension sales order to the definition. The value on the accounts are broken down according to sales order numbers. Rearranging the raw dimensions so that sales order comes first, and GL account comes next, you can see the full financial statement by sales orders. You can do the same slicing by any dimension or even by a mix of several dimensions. Here as an example sales order, as a raw dimension, and customer, as a column dimension. Data filtering can also be done with any of these dimensions. Let's take a closer look at sales order number 8. We see its revenues and costs divided by cost categories, much like a profitability report in a COPA environment. You can jump to the original documents by selecting an account value and using the function display document flow. Here you can see the entire document chain which led to revenue posting on account 500,000 and to sales order number 8. The app Balance Sheet Income Statement is another example of a multidimensional report based on Design Studio. This report looks and works in the same way as the Journal Entry Analyzer. However, here you have different selection parameters and therefore different output data. You can compare the results of your company over different periods of time and across different ledgers. In our example, between the leading ledger and the extension ledger. You can also slice and dice values in the app by any available dimension, for example, profit center. Here we have leading ledger balances, which are broken down by profit centers. By changing the sequence in the column dimensions, we get an alternative view with the balance and differences of the leading ledger and the extension ledger for each profit center. Both reports are based on standard BW queries delivered with SAP S4HANA, which you can see in your backend system in the transaction RSOR. you can create your own queries 
using the app Custom Analytical Queries. Next, we look at the Analytical List Page app. As an example, we take the report Analyze Costs by Work Center Operation. This report shows you actual standard production costs and cost deviations by work center, cost center, and activity type. In addition, many other dimensions are available for analysis. The distinguishing feature of this report is a combination of a list view with transactional data at the bottom of the screen and an analytical view with charts showing metrics and trends based on transactional data at the top of the screen. The chart in the middle of the screen can be adjusted flexibly. You can add and remove any available dimension, sort data in a specific order, filter by any dimension, and change the chart type, for example, from column chart to line or bar chart. The customized layout can be saved as a standard for future use. Let's continue with SAP Smart Business KPIs. This is a new functionality available in S4HANA which allows you to track real-time values of selected key performance indicators directly on your Fiori Launchpad. Several standard KPIs are available in each area. KPIs for Accounts Payables, Accounts Receivables, General Ledger, Financial Supply Chain Management, and so on. Here, as an example, the standard KPI Cash Position. It shows how much cash we have on a specific date considering the actual and predicted incoming and outgoing payments up to the date. Clicking on this app will provide you with further information about this key figure and you can drill down to the original documents behind this figure in financial accounting. Other examples of standard KPIs are daily sales outstanding and sales order fulfillment from the sales and distribution area. If standard KPIs don't meet your needs, you can use the app Manage KPIs and Reports to create your own. Here are two custom KPIs we created, Revenue Trend and Actual Margin. To learn how to create them and understand what options you have, watch our video KPI Tiles in SAP S4HANA. Finally, let's take a look at analytical overview pages. An overview page is a dashboard of main KPIs for a specific business domain. There are overview pages for general ledger accounting, accounts receivables, Accounts Payables, Sales, Procurement, and many more. Let's look at an example, the Sales Accounting Overview. The key figures here are predicted revenues and costs from incoming sales orders, monthly incoming sales orders, monthly sales, total gross profits, gross margin per product, revenue variants, and some more. By click on a key figure, for example, incoming sales orders, the underlying postings are displayed. In our case, predicted revenues and costs of goods sold for the sales order to be delivered in the current fiscal period. From here, you can jump to other apps and check, for example, sales order details and delivery performance. 
These links are the reason why overview pages are referred to as Insight to Action entry points. The default overview layout can be adjusted by rearranging the cards in a different order, resizing cards, and hiding unwanted cards via the user menu Manage Cards. And of course, it is possible to extend the overview pages and to create your customized overview pages with an adaption or development project for the user interface. You can find all standard analytical apps available in SAP S4HANA for finance and controlling in the Fiori Apps Library by selecting SAP S4HANA, the Business Area Finance, and filtering by application types Fiori Analytical and BW Query. To find an analytical app in SubFiori, all you must do is to enter the name of the app in the search box at the top right corner on your Fiori Launchpad.